We'll take a look at the growing popularity of Kabbalah up next on Comcast Newsmakers. Bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Newsmakers. It's said to be the means for activating your potential for greatness. Here to discuss Kabbalah is this hour's newsmaker, Aventura City Commissioner Zev Auerbach. And thank you very much for joining thank us. Thank you for having me. Now, there's a lot of misconceptions out there about Kabbalah. What exactly is it? Is it a religion? Is it a cult? It is definitely not a religion, and it is clearly not a cult. Kabbalah is the study of positive and negative energy, and it reveals the secrets of an energy that's in the universe and how to be positive and not negative. And once you connect to that positive energy, how it can change everything in your life, health, wealth, and romance. Now, you have a personal uh, experience with Kabbalah, how it's helped your family and yourself. Well, I was a typical Brooklynite, um, more interested in sports and uh, business than anything. Uh, and I discovered Kabbalah when I had a situation within my family with my son where we had a uh, health concern. And I discovered Kabbalah accidentally, literally wandering into a shop that was uh, in Aventura at the time. And I started practicing what the Kabbalah was teaching me. And I saw a dramatic change, a miraculous change. Uh, so I continued to stay in the center and study. And I saw these miracles, what I call miracles, modern day miracles, and changes in everyone's life. Everyone had a story, whether it was a health story or a wealth story or a, a love story. They all had a miracle story from the teachings of Kabbalah. I realized it was real. So I've been studying now for uh, over nine years, uh, and it's the real thing. And, and You're an advertising executive. You're also on the city commission at Avatura. Yes. Um, uh, you've had a lot of success in your life. Do you owe that to, to the mindset you've established with Kabbalah? Everything in our life is consciousness. I clearly own, own my business success. Uh, owe my business success to Kabbalah and the success of the health that I, uh, the story I told you about my family. Um, it's all consciousness to be proactive, not reactive, to be sharing, not taking. You build up a bank of energy around you that travels with you for your entire lifetime. And the more positive energy you put into that bank, the bigger your bank account becomes. And years and years after I've done positive acts, I've seen that it's almost like the law of attraction. I've seen that positive act follow me years later and it pays off so once you're in that mindset of giving and sharing and being positive it's shocking how it can change every aspect of your life do some people just follow the Kabbalah principles because that's the type of their nature uh, or do they have to be taught on how to do this well the truth is it runs counter to our nature because our nature our human nature since we're born is to take is to be greedy is to be selfish for oneself alone even if you're sharing, sometimes it's not in the right consciousness. So Kabbalah teaches you to go counter to what we're born with, our natural born consciousness. We have two consciousness, our soul consciousness and our body consciousness. The reason we can't all just lose weight when we want to or stop drinking or stop gambling is because our body consciousness is very strong. When you connect to the teachings of Kabbalah, you're connecting to your soul consciousness and it's overcoming our natural instincts. So it's about transformation. Zev, why do people always think that Kabbalah is part of the Jewish religion? A lot of the teachings of Kabbalah were written originally in, in the world's original language, which was Aramaic, and then it was translated into Hebrew language. So that's where that connection came. But the people that come to the center understand it's completely opposite of religion. It's not even close to a religion. In fact, 50% of the people that study Kabbalah now at the centers are not Jewish. They're from all different religions. And, and they go back to their churches or synagogues and follow their own religion because this is just kind of a, uh, like an addendum to what they're doing in life. Oh, absolutely. If you go to church now, you continue to go to church. Kabbalah is spirituality, positive and negative energy. And it's practical that we use it in our day-to-day -day lives. It's a, practical, it's a practical science and it's a study. It's much closer to science than it is to religion. Are you a different person now than you were before? Oh, absolutely, I'm a different person. Um, I'm more aware to share, to have a positive conscience, to do good for others. I try and, and see my whole life through the eyes of a Kabbalist, never to get caught up in the moment, always to look for the big picture. Of course, you go to the Kabbalah Center to learn all these things, and there's a, there's a place where you actually you get all this knowledge? You definitely can go to the Kabbalah Center in North Miami and Boca, and I teach free seminars called 29 Amazing Minutes, and I'm teaching one on November 3rd, Monday night, uh, and I'm, I'd love for you to come. Okay. And well, I can give you a better, better look at it. All right. Thank you very much. As our newsmaker, has been Aventura City Commissioner Zevin Auerbach discussing the growing popularity of Kabbalah. I'm Spiro Kent. The preceding has been a presentation of Comcast Newsmakers. And now, back to CNN Headline News.